Hello, testing one, two. Let me uh, see if this is working. I always have trouble on uh, YouTube for some reason. Working. I always have trouble. Oh, no, it looks like we're good. Looks like we're good. And it uh, looks like I can keep up with the chat on my phone because uh, last time we streamed the demo, the Resident Evil 3 demo. Hey, what's up, Nova? How's it going? Uh, last time we streamed the, the, the demo for Resident Evil 3, I couldn't see comments for whatever reason. Uh, hopefully the, the audio sounds good. I do have a fan on, so let me know if, if, if that's bothering you guys. Um, what's up, uh, Padilla? How's it going? What up, what up? Uh, let me know if the fan or anything's bothering you guys. It, it's it's an oscillating fan, so you'll probably only hear it sometimes. Uh, it'll hit me like every like two seconds or three seconds. Um, but uh, if that's an issue, let me know. It's just, it's super hot here. So I, I, I have two fans and I turned one off because last time we streamed this on Twitch, that fan was so loud and people had an issue with it. Um, so I'll keep up the best I can. I'm gonna have to have my phone kind of on my lap while I play. I won't be able to see the, 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 the comments on screen because like I said, last time we did that, it didn't work and I missed a lot of what you guys were saying. So uh, we are here, we can chat, you can ask me questions. If I miss your question, just repeat it. Uh, we're here to play Resident Evil 3 uh, on, I think I have a, a hardcore mode setting um, actually, you know what? I, I do, but I'm not going to play that uh, for this. Um, only because I have to focus too much. Like, if it's hardcore, I have to focus too much. And I kind of want to keep up with you guys and chat with you guys. So what we'll do is we'll start a new game on super easy, uh, and we'll try to we'll try to beat the game as fast as we can. We'll just do that. What up, dude? How are you settling in? I'm doing okay. Gaming. How's it going, man? Um, we're settling in pretty well. Not, not too bad. Uh, you guys let me know. I'll let the first cutscene play, but if you don't want cutscenes after this, let me know. Um, and we can skip them. Uh, but e Echo and I are settling in. Crazy, huh? That a Resident Evil 3 game would come out, talking about a pandemic and a, a virus going around. How are you guys doing today? How's everyone in here? Feel free to, you know, chat. I'm gonna go, I'll go quiet from time to time if you're trying to follow the story. Um, but I'll probably edit something together. I'll put it on my gaming channel. We played through this last night on Twitch and um, I recorded the whole thing. So I'll probably edit those sometime next week and put them on my gaming channel. This I just want to do for fun so I can talk to you guys. Oh, Jesus, man. With the fucking Venom trailer. I don't know. It's not this week. And it's not, I don't think it's next week, so don't believe all the, the rumors. The thing is, is typically when you release a trailer, yeah, sometimes you just throw it online, but you also release it around the time a movie comes out in the theaters. There's no movies come out in theaters, so there's no trailers planned right now. If you follow Trailer Track on uh, Twitter, I would recommend you just do that. And don't harass them. Just, you know, don't ask them anything. They've already answered the question of when the Venom 2 trailer is coming out like a dozen times. And the answer is nobody knows. Thank you for retracting your comment. Uh, nah, yeah, I'm, I'm getting sick of hearing that question. Like, I don't know. I don't, nobody knows when that when that trailer is going to come out. Nobody. If, and if, if some website says, oh, we know it's going to come out next week or tomorrow, like, they don't know. I promise you they don't know. Nobody knows. All right, so when you start the game, you start off in first person. Usually I, f oh, you know what? I should I should be running through this. Does it count? It doesn't count. Okay, good. Uh, so yeah, there's her dartboard of, of following uh, Umbrella. Here's her little apartment. Look up just a barely above a studio. Uh, I'm gonna try to not speed run this, but if we can beat it in less than I'm, I was trying to beat it in less than two hours last night. I, I couldn't get it. I was like two hours and ten minutes or twelve minutes, and then two hours and fifteen minutes. Uh, so yeah, I'm, under two hours is pretty tough for me. Hello, Rohit. How's it going, dude? Welcome. 
How is self-isolation going? Better now, I ran out and got a ton of groceries just now, like I was running low on drinks. I had water, but I was running low on other things with flavor. <laughs> so uh, I ran out and I bought just like a bunch of stuff. I bought like $70 worth of stuff. I got uh, some chips. I don't normally snack on chips, but they have like my favorite kind of chips. So I decided to get them. I haven't had a bag of hot fries in like probably a couple years. Um, hey, what's up, Christian? How's it going? And I also got uh, like some bread and, you know, pe pe uh, I had peanut butter and jelly, but I, I just got uh, mostly drinks. I, I bought like $50 worth of drinks. I got teas. I got juices, different types of juices, um, different types of teas, um, some soda, a little bit more water. Just, yeah, catching up on everything. So, uh, yeah, so I'll talk a little bit about the story if you guys want me to, or I'll just let the game play. If you have questions about Resident Evil, you can ask me. If you have Venom questions, ask me. If you have asked me where the trailer is, I don't know. That's my answer. It's going to be my answer every single time. In any, it's complete lockdown up to April 11th, day of lockdown today. Oh, wow. Howdy. What's up, Lonely? How's it going? Um, yeah, Florida just two nights ago at midnight. Uh, I think it was the night this came out. So maybe, yeah, like so Thursday night at midnight, they um, they put everybody on corn, like a stay at home. Like they, they got the rules are a little bit more strict. So I guess they were a little lax here in Florida, uh, you know, obviously, because there was like spring breakers going to beaches and stuff. And they were like, all right, now we got to lock down beaches. And so I guess they were hoping people would be good, you know, and behave and not uh, not be completely selfish. But I guess that didn't work. So so now it's getting a little bit more strict around here. There, there, I saw police out uh, when I was driving around. I went to Walmart to get some groceries, and they closed down their non-grocery side for the most part. And, I mean, you can if you're inside, you can still go over on that side and shop, but you can't walk in that way. You have to walk through a line, and they only let so many people in. Um, and they wipe down everything. Like, if they give you a cart, they wipe it all down, and it's pretty crazy. Actually, um, even though it was a guy's voice, because I love the movie and the TV show The Purge, like that series and franchise. I really love that franchise, and uh, the TV show is fantastic. I actually really like the, the TV show. Um, and uh, there was a thing that reminded me of The Purge. Outside of Walmart, there was like this big uh, tower that was just repeating an automated message. Um, even now in Purge, it's a female's voice, but here at Walmart, there was a man's voice, and it was just like, you know, uh, please everybody, wa wash your hands if you're sick, stay at home, and you know, and it was it was pretty surreal. I was like, wow, that's crazy. Now, I know we're trying to beat this fast, but I like, check this out. Like, watch, there's a guy there in front of us. And then there's a guy to our left. And... Look at that. Boom. That's crazy. Nemesis does look like Doomsday. I think we talked about that before. He looks like Doomsday Stage 1, and then, of course, she, she just shot, shot his mask so his eyes exposed. That's, like, you know, the second form of Doomsday. Or, and then he gets an arm free, you know? It's, like, pretty much just Doomsdaying it up. Hey, splat! That's right. Um, good, so I'm glad I can see comments. I'm seeing them on my phone, uh, Lonely, so if I miss comments, you guys feel free to, um, you know, wait like a minute and then repeat it if you need to, uh, if, if you think I, I skipped your comment. <laughs> no, it didn't, Freezy. We gotta run. Yeah, I know you're joking, and don't and don't joke like that. Cause I actually I will I will just block people who uh, I know you're just having fun and stuff. But but during this time I don't want that hornet's nest kicked. I, I mentioned that in my live stream the other day. You probably missed it, and that's fine. So I'm gonna repeat it here. I don't joke about the trailer. I don't know when it's coming out. Nobody knows when it's coming out. If you, if you see a website say that they know it's coming out, they're lying through their teeth. Uh, nobody knows. 
Uh, there's no movies going to theaters right now, so there's no, you know, uh, hype they can attach a trailer onto. And yeah, they could just release it online, but they don't even know fully if the movie's coming out in October still. So just don't even joke about it, because I will. Um, I will block. <laughs> I did not trick you. <laughs> you tried to trick us. <laughs> So check this out. Yeah, so that car just crashed there. I, I didn't notice that my first playthrough here. Um, and uh, all the movie posters. That's Captain Commando, I think. Uh, the command team, Mars Carlisle's off-duty, 1942. Check up there. So right up there, see the guy at the top of the ladder? And splat. Yeah. All right. So we're two and a half minutes in. Normally I'm at this point in like... 50 seconds, or, 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 or uh, maybe maybe a minute and a half, maybe a minute and a half. Um, last night I tried to do a speed run of this, and I think my best time was two hours and 12 minutes. Uh, right here on that poster is Morgan. I didn't notice her before, but yeah, Morgan from uh, Darkstalkers. Oh, yeah, it's, it, thank you, Lonely. Hope you're doing well. You are my hero. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. I don't want to be anybody's hero. <laughs> but thank you. Jazz is missing all the splatter. I know, man. Jazz Carnage would love this game. So this opening is is pretty action packed. Um, I get I, it sets the tone pretty well. Like they, it, it's a little unbelievable. It's a little close to the movies. I'm sorry to say, in some ways. Not a lot, like a lot of this is fine, but I, I gotta say, I don't feel like anyone in this game is heroic by the by the actual word of, of her heroism. Um, I've, it is survival horror, so it's definitely self-preservation. It's weird, because like, uh, Jill is told by, uh, what's his name, uh, Nikolai, he's like, where's your sense of self-preservation? And I feel like by the end of this, she, I mean, she kind of saves Carlo, not really, I guess she doesn't really. Um, it's just, it's crazy that, that they, they don't actually save anybody, but they talk about trying to save other people a lot in this game. They're like, oh, we have a train full of people. And then they're like, oh, we need the vaccine so we can bargain a deal with the government so they don't send in a missile strike. And there's all, and right here, hey, please, let me help you. Let me help you. And, uh, and by the end, they save nobody. So, so I'm kind of curious what they're, you know, what they were doing. Um. When that door closes, you can hit X like three times and keep him talking and then shoot a bullet at it at the door once. And he's like, oh, you try to kill me. I think if you do all four of those things, that unlocks like a, an achievement. Oh, Jesus Christ, Eddie. <laughs> That's all it is. It's like, it, it's so irritating that... Even when people joke about it, it's so irritating about, hey, just do the Venom trailer, the Venom trailer. It's like, yeah. But I know, I know you're just messing around. The internet is just losing their minds over it. In the book, it was mentioned Jill tried to at least help people. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. In the book, yeah. Well, here's the thing. In, when they made the first game, uh, the first version of this, there's not... Like when they have the the, the cable car, um, they they have the cable car, but the cable car doesn't have people in it. It just has Mikhail and Carlos in it, and Nikolai and uh, Terrell and everybody. It just has their team. So there's no like direct chance for Jill to like gather a group of people and try to save them. But there is in this game. So I'm all for characters failing, but it's like yeah, that has to be part of the arc. Is that they succeed in the end. So in the end of this, they actually don't succeed in doing anything except saving themselves. And and that's where I'm kind of like, okay, well, so Jill and... They had, I guess, good intentions, but Jill and Carlos are not really heroes by the end of this. They are they don't even get the vaccine out. So they, they, they fail on every level. So you're kind of just like, all right, so what, what did they accomplish? They accomplished surviving. That was their accomplishment. The Venom movie actually made a joke and tweeted the video as well. It's brilliant. Uh, accidental marketing. Yeah, I saw that. The the weird um, symbiote sludge thing that uh, 
that was like you know out on that rock. Like I thought that was awesome. They did a good. I know. I, I'm, I'm. That account has a good sense of humor. They, you know, they they did in the first movie too, where they were like promoting the first movie. So uh, at this point, people don't deserve the trailer. <laughs> What's up, Unicycle? No, they don't. You know, it's on some level, uh, they don't. People just need to chill out. But it gets worse every day. Every day that they don't get a trailer, and what makes it worse is that you know, like I said, that's why I don't joke about the trailer or anything on here, because there's. Uh, like that one guy on uh, that other YouTuber made that really great. <coughs> hey. Hang on. I might have someone at my door. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. We working at stop. There was nobody because of just being a weirdo. Um, but yeah, that one guy, that other YouTuber on Instagram made that that great image of like the Venom logo with the two behind it. And that that started all this, you know, started a bunch of craziness. He just did it for an April Fool's joke, but it's like, yeah, but look what you've done now because of that. You've caused people, to, it, it, it energized them to, to mobilize and energize like even just like, you know, a hundred or a couple hundred people to create fake accounts and then all go and just bombard the Sony accounts. And every time Sony posts something, they're just like, yeah, but where's the trailer? And all, all caps. And yeah, people are just, they lose their mind. So that's why I'm like, I don't even want to joke about a trailer on here. Because then you just kick that hornet's nest and you get everybody all riled up. Hey, what's up, Lisa? How's it going? Echo, yes. Venom, we won't release the trailer. That's the name of the sequel. That's right. I thought that was Echo growling. For, it was Echo growling for a second. Um... If you run back up there, there's a bobblehead at the top of those stairs uh, between two um, newspaper things. So we're not going as fast as I as I normally do. I think normally when we're here, it's like three and a half maybe minutes, four minutes. So we're already a minute and a half past my my time from last night, I think. Going great, thanks. Hey, no problem. Yeah, the controller was vibrating. Oh, that, yeah, that. So it was echo growling at first, and then I put the controller on the table, and then that's what you heard. Let's see if we can beat Carlos down the steps. Ah, oh, he got us. Dang it. So it, that's a little game I started playing. I beat him once yesterday, but but by like a set, very quickly. He runs really fast. So it looks like cutscenes don't count towards your time, which is good. Great to see y'all, Lonely says. Great to have you here, Lonely, and all y'all. See, did you hear that the trailer is complete? <laughs> We're not talking about the trailer, so just drop it. <laughs> you are sweet seek. No, I'm not. I I won't be if the if the trailer keeps being a, a topic of discussion. Sorry, I mentioned the T word. It's not you. It's Freezy. I know you came in. You didn't hear. You missed the opening when we talked about it. So that's okay. It's, if new people come in. And mention it. Obviously, that's different. I'll try to be more patient. But Freezy, Freezy's from the jump has just been tr just all trailer talk. It's like, dude, just let it go. Ask about anything else. You know, Maximum Venom, the cartoon, is like three weeks away. Um, and then Venom vlog episodes, by the way, they will come back next week. I've been waiting for these stupid shelves. I can't believe the first thing I ordered on on um. 
uh, Amazon for my new apartment, the very first thing I ordered, still hasn't come in yet. And then when they said they were delivered, they weren't here. So I had to contact Amazon. They're like, hey, don't worry. They must have got lost. Sorry this happened. We'll resend you some. So that's nice that they're doing that. But now I got to wait like another week to get them. So when I record Venom vlog stuff next week, my room won't be complete, unfortunately, which is a, a bummer. Uh, subway trains are cool. <laughs> nice. Uh, so we're not going to collect... Uh, I'm going to try not to collect a lot of the, the other stuff. Like the files and all that stuff. Um, oh, speaking of zombie movies, has anyone seen Train to Busan? And if you haven't, get on it right now. And then also look up the trailer if you want a trailer for a movie so badly. Uh, watch uh, Peninsula, the trailer for Peninsula. That's the sequel to Train to Busan. And it looks awesome. So I don't need any of that stuff. Those are all the things I bought with my points. But we will take the infinite handgun. Because why not? Hey, Unicycle, how's it going? So what are we doing this time with the game? Uh, I'm actually just running through it. I figured I would just... Uh, I had... You know, Twitch is something I used to be on all the time, but uh, in the past few years, I haven't really uh, done much on there. So I figured I would, you know, play this once on here and just uh, and just talk to you guys. So you can ask, like, you know, Venom questions that, that aren't trailer specific, because <laughs> we already had that conversation. Um... Seven minutes? Yeah, this is unnormally faster than this, but that's all right. We'll get there. I'll find a way to make up. So um, uh, if I, I, I was hoping to beat this in less than two hours, but I don't think I'm going to. We're already off to a kind of a bad start. So, um, so I'm thinking we'll just try to beat this in one sitting. Um, and we can just you know talk about whatever. And it doesn't have to be Venom. We can talk about other things. Do you have any signed Venom stuff? Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, I have the thing Tom Hardy signed, uh, the comic book. Uh, he also signed my helmet, which was cool. Um, I have, uh, I think, a poster, a print signed. I have three comic books signed by Tom Lyle, um, Venom Funeral Pyre, issues one through three. And I'm actually in the process of framing those today, so that way I can... Um, so that way I can put them on my wall with the Tom Hardy one. So it'll probably be the last thing I add to my wall for the, the show is those signatures. He's, t he's shaking too much. Ass shots. All right, so typically what I'll do strategy-wise is... That's awesome. I have some carnage signed by uh, Randy Ember. Oh, that's cool. That is really cool. can't remember what's up here. Oh, yeah, rather We'll take it. Um, yeah, who else in the chat? Anyone else have signed stuff? Uh, Venom or otherwise? Like something you collect and just love? Sound off in the comments. Let us know. Everyone knows you shoot a zombie on the butt. It's its one weakness. I mean, come on. What are you, a fan or what? I mean, of course that's where you shoot them. You shoot them right in the asshole. Like, you, you got to get the bullet in. If you do that, they're, I mean, what are they going to do? Still bite you? I doubt it. They have a bullet in their butthole. Oh, you know what? We don't even need to go and do all this. 
I forgot. I'm going. See? Ah, look at that. He died from the ass shot, not the other shots. Those headshots did nothing to him. But that ass shot? That's where it was. Hi there. Yeah, I should. I'm trying to remember what areas you don't have to go to, and one of the areas is this shop. But since we're here, I'll just go ahead and grab this herb and this uh, um, gunpowder, so we can make shotgun shells. Because unfortunately, they didn't do in, like an infinite shotgun in this game, which is a bummer. Man, I would love to run around with an infinite shotgun in a Resident Evil game again. I th I can't remember which game had it. I, th I want to say it was maybe sit five. Resident Evil 5 might have been, maybe 6, but I think it was 5 was the last one to have an infinite shotgun. Um, that's awesome, everyone. Uh, I have a signature from the English actor for Ed and Al. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that counts. Of course that counts. Oh, shoot, I'm walking the wrong way. I'm like trying to read comments, and I'm, I should move my phone to a better position. Uh, stay safe, Freezy. Hey, man, have a good one. Hey, that's okay, man. Just, uh, you know, now you know. It's it's a button with me. Um, because, uh, I mean, like, I... He, let me... To give you guys some perspective. Imagine, you know, and this and this isn't me complaining, like, you know, to an extent. I mean, it's a, it's me whining a little bit. But but overall, like, I'm, I'm happy that a lot of people come to me with uh, Venom stuff. They're like, hey, man, I heard this news, I heard that news, or whatever. But... I have, on a daily basis now, I have people writing me saying, hey man, trailer this week, uh, or hey, have you heard the trailer's done, or hey, have you heard, so just uh, ima imagine like getting, you know, after a long day of, you know, set, you're setting this place up, or moving across country, and settle, you're settling in, that's why the last two days I've done nothing but play video games, because I'm just like, I, I see that my stress level is getting really high, because I just have people contacting me and just hitting me up. I'll wake up in the morning and see like six or seven um, DMs, you know, and uh, and then comments, you know, and and, uh, and it's like, and text messages sometimes. And I'm like, uh, and it makes me regret giving my phone number out to anybody. <laughs> Cause I'm like, I'm like, okay, all right. Thank you. Yes, I heard about whatever it is you're, you know, texting me about. But uh, yeah, so just uh, just just give you some perspective. Like it it does get a little it does get a little on my nerves because the, and the re the only reason it gets on my nerves is because it, it's it, it shows me that nobody's actually doing any work to like to find out for themselves if it's true or not. Um, some people have, like, Venom Gaming is very good at, like, online, like, looking to see if things are real uh, real or not. Um, Venom Media has started, you know, he's gotten better at that, too, and he'll put, when he posts something on Instagram, he's usually, like, uh, or they, because I think it's two people that run that account, they're usually, like, uh, hey, you know, uh, we're not sure if this is true, it's just another rumor, but we're sharing it anyway, just, you know, and to me, I, I don't even want to sh share that stuff, though, I, I can't, because... The hornet's nest, it kicks up, and then it gets someone else who's who hasn't seen any of the posts, any of the updates. It gets them seeing your post, and then they start asking questions, and um, and I don't know. It just the chain of events that happens, but it shows me that most fans they just see the post and they go, "Oh, a, a trailer is coming tomorrow," and then and then they start writing. Some of them start writing me and go, "Dude, trailer tomorrow, trailer tomorrow," and it's like, "It's not, dude. It's not. Stop it. Please leave me alone." So. Like I said, I don't mind people 
being like, oh, Seek's a Venom guy, you know, like, so I want to talk to him about Venom stuff and bring him Venom news. But uh, when it comes to this trailer, just wait for an official word from Sony. Because you know what the Sony does? They always go like, hey, here's a 10-second trailer to announce that our full trailer is coming on Friday. Um, and then Trailer Track will usually give you the heads up. Hey, in like two days, we got word that a Venom trailer is coming. So just wait for those as your sources. That's all I ask before hitting me up a thousand times going... Uh, or even just five times is enough to make to like after a long day I, I get just five messages is enough to like make me see red and I don't mean to take my that anger out on you guys um, but it it does come out sometimes because sometimes I'm just like come on So yeah, so it's fine. Just just wait for an official word before uh, going gaga over a potential trailer. I mean, we've been talking about that since season one about tempering our expectations, and knowing where to find information that we can trust. Uh, Comicbook.com, all these places that are reporting it, they they need clicks. Like like everybody's hurting right now. So they're they're okay with posting rumors because they're like, hey, I, we need clicks to stay alive and we have a business to run here. And that's fine. That's that's their job. They're, they're doing their job. So I don't fault them or any other website for the most part running for it, running with it, but it's just not what we do here. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, we, you know it's fine. I, I, you don't have to do that. Um... I don't, I don't mind being a grumpy asshole. That's the thing. Like, I'll be it, uh, and, and I won't feel bad about it. Um, that's just how I am sometimes. I'm just like, hey, you know what? I, uh, today's just a bad day. But it's not an excuse, you know. If you, if you don't like me over it, you know, I'm sorry for that. Uh, and I understand if you're, if you're like, all right, dude, I'm not watching your videos anymore. It's like, okay. Well, I, and I, if that's the... If that's the outcome because I'm a jerk, then I get it. I'm waiting for a thing like Orion Picture Show to spot telling us that the Child's Play trailer is tomorrow or Fallen saying that the trailer is Thursday and even with Cam Yeah, exactly. See, that's the thing, Unicycle. Unicycle knows. Like, that's the stuff you should wait for. Um, and that's good advice, actually, Unicycle's, what Unicycle said. Alright, so one thing I like to do is I like to put that in the first spot there. And we're just going to go ahead and do that. Normally I backtrack at this point and go back and do all the things so Nemesis doesn't chase us, but I'm not afraid of Nemesis on assisted mode, so... Watch out, this part is pretty gruesome. Not safe for work. Ugh, gross. That's so gross. Alright, so those things, they lay babies in you. And, uh... They lay babies in you, and then uh, those babies hatch unless you green herb it up. Okay, normally I don't. I also at least go back for the shotgun because running through here with that one can be scary. Um, but now that I know this tunnel's pretty well, I'm hoping and where the enemies spawn, I'm hoping I can 
get around some of them. Sometimes if you run towards them, they'll run away. They get scared of the light, I think. So that's just bullets, I think, and then a note. We don't need any of those. They come out of those holes that we just passed, some of them. Last one. This is going to explode. I can run between those two. That should kill the ones that snuck up on me. And we should have a clear shot out of here. Cool. Okay. Done. The only downside is I don't have any. Um, I don't have any grenades. And we're going to run into Nemesis out here. And I don't have the shotgun. So that's going to be a bitch. Ew, ew, ew. Exactly, right? That was so gross, what just happened to, to Jill. Uh, oh, you know what I do have, though? Boom. 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 Where's my assault ammo? Oh, there we go. Carlos, it's Joe. I've restored power to the subway. Nice, Carlos. Next up is the traffic control system. It should be in the subway company's offices. Unfortunately, all I can tell you is that it's somewhere in the airport. You don't even know what building? That's helpful. Thanks, partner. Not your partner. Not your partner. Guys, what's the one thing you want most when uh, this is all over? Um, it's a good question. Personally, I just want to see my friends again. That's a that's a nice thing, actually. See your friends. Uh, yeah, I don't. You know, I don't know. I um, I would like to go back to work. Uh, I guess, and I know a lot of people would. I know my mom and my brother would. Um. So I would say probably that, like, you know, I'm just like a workaholic. I like to work. Whoa. Okay. Oh, that's right, because I, I have the assault coins <laughs> activated. I'm like, wow, he went down quick. Sure, Long says. You see the leaks for the Wonder Woman 84 Lego set? I did not. How's it look? I liked the first Wonder Woman uh, Lego set. It was like um, it was like her, Steve Trevor with like a World War One plane, and um, Ares, the God of War, like a big version of him. Uh, that was a great set. It was only thirty bucks. It was a good deal. don't need any more is that knife uh, or that cool 22 minutes okay
we got this box now. Break this chain. Got that box now. Is that to make to make shotgun shells with it? So we still got a few more seconds. Oh shit. Shit. Go away, dude. So this is optional, like you could not do this and save yourself some time, but I want the extra fanny pack. So uh, I do this every time. Nemesis is very grumpy. More than me. If it looks good and it's a big satellite dish, uh, <laughs> shows that Cheetah will look like in the movie. Oh, that's cool. Does she look awesome? I like Cheetah, she's a cool character. Uh, my friend Erica, she used to do the voice of uh, Cheetah um, on like uh, the Lego Lego Cheetah in some of the Lego animated movies, and then also Cheetah, she played the voice of Cheetah in Injustice. This will be a good way to find out where Nemesis spawns, too. I mean, I know he spawns in this area. Come on! <laughs> Nemesis with the save. Got that zombie off me. We're just going to go through all the... Uh, Oh, the ammo <laughs> for that. But before we do, let's go get us a shotgun. I got a shotgun. She looks like a, a yellow furry mystique with the movie with white fur in the middle. Oh, interesting. That That's, I don't know. I got to see how that looks. Um, combine with that. Boom. Beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. It's true. All right. So let's go turn the power on. We'll get these shotgun shells. I'm excited for Wonder Woman. 40, uh, uh, 84, sorry, 48. What, uh, anybody else looking for that movie? I like the first Wonder Woman movie a lot. Um, FA2, RA3, SA2. That's uh, what you got to put in for that code. So the Nemesis music is still playing, which means he... Uh... Oh.
think there's another gr grenade over here. It's the only reason I'm coming down here. Sounds angry. I think he's waiting for me in here. You don't have to activate this scene, by the way. I went around this part once, and uh, that was pretty neat that I could do that. I was, uh, I went through the other store. You know what I was just thinking? I was just doing the math on the time. Uh, yeah, I shouldn't have gone this way, <laughs> now that I think about it. I should have, because we're heading this way now. Um, so when I came back here and put those gems in, that was actually a waste of time. Um, because see, we come in here right now. I could have done it right now. So uh, that that I know it wasn't a big deal because it only took up like two minutes of our time, but still, two minutes is two minutes when you're doing one of these runs. Now I imagine Nemesis has musicians following him around. He does. He's got a he's got a band. Little inventory management. It's not good that I do that, but I do it a lot. Let's put that away. There we go. Let's get that and that. And let's... So 30 minutes we've been playing. And then we'll do... But I think the stream's been going longer than 30 minutes because the it only counts what we're actually playing. So cutscenes, all that doesn't count any of those. So Nikolai, as far as I know, is not part of their squad. Um, I was reading some of the files that happened later in the game. It sounds like it sounds like he's because um, he keeps referring to the squad as Mik Mikhail's uh, squad, MV squad, which is Mikhail Victor. Um, so he keeps referring it to as as his squad. Uh, so Nikolai, I think, was part of another unit that got wiped out, and that's why there's a scene later where Mikhail kind of uh, addresses that. He's like, uh, funny that your squad of like 20 guys got knocked out pretty quickly. Boom. So then I usually lower him in here. I, he's paused for a few seconds. That's enough to get, you have to hit this thing three times. So we can get two in, and then now he's coming. We probably could have gone through. I just like messing with him. <laughs> Boom. So he dropped another case. Let's go get that. And I think that's it. I think there's only three cases he drops. Um, because I think I've dropped him like a total of four or five times, and I've only ever gotten three cases out of him. You're ex oh, Halloween kills, huh? 
That's another one you're excited for? Um, you know, I'll be honest with you. I didn't like that last Halloween too much. The, uh, I didn't hate it. I just, I just, I don't know. I found myself looking at my phone a lot when I was watching it. I felt kind of bored. Um, but, uh, I mean, if they're going to make more, that's fine. They're certainly, it's certainly better than a lot of the other sequels they made. So I just hate when they do that now where they're like, they're like, uh, well, you can't, don't count like movies t two through nine, you know, or Terminators. Like anything after two doesn't count. We're going to make the definitive third Terminator. And it's like, okay, but you made a movie that's actually worse than Terminator 3. Um, so, yeah, I don't, I don't get it. Um, we don't even need handgun ammo, so we'll just discard it. No, we have not saved yet. Um, I don't plan on... I mean, I, I plan on saving once or twice, but... But not till we get through, like, the sewers and stuff. So 32 minutes. So normally I don't think I'm here in, at the 32-minute marker. So we might be doing better on time than we were. And I think that's because we didn't backtrack. Because every time you backtrack, you spend about, at the very least, seven minutes to go back and use the lockpick and, the, and cut the, all the chains. So I'm glad we just did it this time and dealt with Nemesis because it actually didn't... It saved us like you know at least five minutes. Saved us at least five minutes. These things slow me down. I hate them. But now that we have these uh, salt cones on and we're playing on easy mode, we should be able to plow through them pretty quickly. The Candyman movies also go on that route, but that's probably a good thing because the sequels to Candyman were awful. They made sequels to Candyman? Where the hell have I been? I remember the first one. They made more than the first one? That's crazy. Um, it, well, I haven't seen them. Uh, I had no idea they made sequels to Candyman, actually. So I believe you that they suck. I've never heard of them. Ew, it's like an evil naked chicken frog. That's exactly what it is. Um, it, it's actually called the evil naked chicken chicken frog. <laughs> the ENCF. It's its code name. Yeah, those assault coins. When you have one, one, one equipped, it does it increases the damage to your, uh, you know, your ammo. But having both of them equipped is is good, especially on assisted mode. Did I pick up? Well, I'll keep it for now. So I think my best time in the sewer was like maybe 15 minutes. So we're going to try to, so far we're beating it, I think. No, 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 no. We need this. It takes up two spots because why not? We can make shoddy shells. Nice. <laughs> I have a crafting tool as well. The crafting tool is great. I left it in the thing, but it's a good thing to carry around with you as sometimes when you're, or, or like all your gunpowder and stuff, or, you know, or explosives, keep them separate. Like I just combine mine there. We're on easy mode, so I don't really care. But on uh, like hardcore mode or something else, if you bring that crafting tool, when you mix, um, you know, two things, if it would normally give you like 12 bullets, it'll give you 24, but it'll double everything. Come in, 
get some. The ugly naked chicken thing. Hello, my brothers has the original RE games from the first PS console. Uh, I played it last summer and the game still scares me. Nice. Hey, welcome. How's it going, uh, Tina? Um, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, man. The old school Resident Evil stuff is great. Great. Yes, we're big fans of Resident Evil here. As you can tell, we're playing the third one here. But, oh, damn it. <laughs> Thank God my own grenades don't kill me. Because uh, that bounced right off its head and <laughs> it came right, it blew up right under Jill's feet. Like, oh man, we're so lucky. That's uh, that's not a thing. Seek has the voice of an angel. That is not true. I have the voice of a fallen angel. Sea listers like me. Join the sea lister club. So we got explosives there, gunpowder there, don't need that. So then make sure you grab this thing back. Every time a door shuts, grab it back. You need to use it three times. So we just use it the second time, and then we have one more door over here. And uh, what's that say? 38 minutes, okay. I feel like maybe we're like, because we didn't backtrack, we made up for that time, that, that extra time we spent in the beginning. So, uh, oh, by the way, there's a bobblehead. If you go up the stairs right there above that light, there's normally a bobblehead. Hello, Tina. Hi. We lost him. Oh, spoke too soon. It's funny, Nemesis plays with his food a lot with her, so I don't get it. Like when he when he goes after like other people, it's like he full on just uh Oh come on, I hit dodge. Bastard. Uh he he like kills people immediately. Like, you know, he gets zombies from getting in front of him, he kills them. Uh, other characters, he just shoots a tentacle through their head or their neck or chest or something. But Jill, he, he's always choking her, picking her up and throwing her. I'm just like, dude, kill her. Like, you, you, how many chances have you had now to kill her? And he just doesn't do it. All right, so let's pull out the crafting tool. Watch. Mix that, combined. And we got six instead of three. Um, that away, that down there. Um, we don't need that. Cool. Still not going to save. Stay safe, Unicycle. Hey, you too, man. Thanks for coming in, dude. Stay safe, stay safe. You got to go eat breakfast. Okay. Take your time. Don't let the breakfast bugs eat you. Let's check this out. And then this is burst through the door. Stars. I bet I'm right there. This. Oh, I'm glad she moved and didn't pause on those stairs. This dude is. Look how easily he moves around. He's so big too. It's.
Nemesis loves space. <laughs> Social distancing. He's practicing it. I got cocky on this fight when I was doing like my speed run through it, and uh, he totally killed me. I was like, oh dang. I think I was playing on standard mode, um, but still, was I was like, there was no reason for him to kill me. I was like, oh come on. I was just sloppy. I got greedy too. I saw an opening and I just kept going for it, and he put me down like the dog I was. Stars. Still kicking? Nope, he's dead. And like I said, the only reason he went down so easily and why the tank blew up so after like three or four shots is because I have two of those assault coins on. I knew like when I was playing, because I remember the assault coins I think from Resident Evil 7, and I remember how much power they added. I think you only got one coin and it added a lot of power, so when I saw there was an option for two, I was like, you know, I'm not even going to play hardcore mode until I'm able to get the two coins. So I have a hard mode game started, but I say I ran through the beginning and saved it you know, at the very first save spot. And I'm going to try to play from there onward later, but I'm going to do it offline. Who's texting me? Oh, it's my mom. She's good, by the way. Uh, people asking. People, someone asked me uh, yesterday, last night. Ouchies indeed. Yeah, Jill's like a superhero, man, in this one. I saw people being like, oh, this is my favorite version of Jill, and I'm like, I don't know if I can get behind that. Um, this is definitely my favorite version of Carlos, but I don't know if I can call this my favorite version of Jill because um, I'm not a fan of... Uh, I mean, she, 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 she fails all right, but it's like... It's like, I don't know. The type of failing she does, she, it, she's not she's not very heroic. Like, uh, I, in my opinion, like this version of her. Like, it's different because in the original Resident Evil 3, most of this place was dead. Like, here we actually saw real survivors all hanging out inside, you know, that, that tr train. So there was, like, I don't know, there was, like, hope that she could succeed in saving people. And when that didn't happen, I'm just like, oh, okay, so what did she accomplish in this game? Like, you, you got to always ask, like, what is your, what arc does your characters go on? What do they accomplish in the story? And uh, I can't think of a single thing that, that was accomplished. Oh, I should have got the crafting tool out. Oh, well, that's fine. The, other than surviving, like that was their accomplishment, and that's not enough. It's not enough. Yeah, my mom's doing good. Thank you. Not too crazy about the remake after the first remake. Like, no, me neither. Like, the thing about the first Resident Evil remake, why it was so good, was because it kept everything that was there originally, and it only added stuff. So it was like, okay, the mansion looks almost the same. You just you just go through a couple different doors in a few different in a different pattern. Some of the rooms have been changed a little bit, but for the most part, you go into every single room that was already there before, plus new ones. Uh, you go underground, guess what? Now that links you to a, a shack on the outside of the, the, the property where Lisa Trevor was, and we added Lisa Trevor into the story, and we added Crimson Heads. They only added, they didn't take anything away. That is the key 
when you're redoing or remaking stuff, especially video games. You don't take anything away. You just add. And that goes for writers and comics too. I know I, I've done this rant before where I talk about Donny Cates and stuff like that. It's like it's like just uh, just add. It's cool. To, it's cool to add. Subtracting sucks for the people who know. In this game, they totally are like, oh screw it, we're gonna retcon. Uh, we're gonna retcon uh, uh, Resident Evil Survivor. And we're just going to say hunters and uh, and tyrants were made here, uh, made here in Raccoon City, and then Nemesis was made here in Raccoon City. <laughs> it's like okay. I mean, that could have been the lore before. To be honest with you, I thought I thought that it was a, a experiment that was started in Paris, like a Umbrella Europe, um, and they did. They did keep a German scientist, like Dr. Frankel or something. They mentioned him in a file later on. So, you know, and he talks about how he's using parasites and they're from Europe. And I'm like, well, that makes sense because, you know, Las Plagas is a, a parasite that is in, like, you know, that they found in Europe in like sp the Spain area. Um, so I'm like, that, so it, it doesn't like essentially retcon anything, but... At the same time, it's like, what I mean by taken away is, I guess, locations. Like, uh, they they reduced a lot of locations to cutscenes in this game. Like, the, uh, the, the gas station is, like, just something really quick that you drop in on. Um, with Carlos, you don't actually investigate it, run around it, solve a puzzle there, or grab puzzle pieces from it. Nothing like that. drop them? Do you drop like a case? No. Cool. I don't know you can drop them with the rocket launcher. Hey, what's up? How's it going, LOL XT? Welcome, welcome. I agree, Sick. I also like the art style better than the first one. It's more unique and rec recognizable. Yeah. Yeah, the artwork, for sure. Howdy, howdy. Finally got in time for the stream. You made it. We're just uh, we're just chilling out, man. Playing some RE3. Me too. Hey, you're doing pretty good at this. Yeah, I'm I'm getting better at this game. But we are playing on easy, so don't give me too much credit. Yeah, if we were playing on standard, I would probably still fire back at him. But if we were playing on hardcore, I would not be. I would just be running. Save my ammo. Uh, 
Um, so yeah, as I was saying, if, if they would have just kept like, okay, you run inside the, um, you got to look for supplies inside the gas station, and you gotta, you gotta uh, run into St. Michael's clock tower, and you gotta, you gotta, that's a, like a level. If they would have done that, but then added all the, like, all right, we're adding a sewer, we're adding this toy store area, you know, like we're adding all this. I don't mind them adding, but when you subtract at the same time, it's kind of like, all right, well. But I think that's just because, one, they wanted to reuse a lot of assets, so they probably designed a lot of this stuff for background buildings in Resident Evil 2, and they were able to flip them and reuse them. So it's probably really easy. Where is he? There we go. Ooh, nice. Damn. Get stuck on the car door. <laughs> that. Boom, boom. But yeah, like, it, this all happened in the in the original th third game. Carlos set up a trap and, and, and blew up the nemesis at the gas station. So this scene here happened in the first one. But you actually ran into the, the building and looked for supplies and, and stuff like that. So, and there were zombies in there and there was a little bit more, more to it than... You know, then just a cutscene, and then, and then I guess you can get to the sewer by cutting through the gas station. I, you know, go to the subway platform. It's like, look at this. There's an entrance to the subway from the gas station, which is, uh, I don't know. This must be an umbrella-owned gas station, and maybe. Let me buy so I can beat you down the stairs. You're cheating. He cheated. So I don't know much about RE. I used to watch my brothers play the games when I was younger, but watching the, watching this, it's reminded me of similar scenarios in the very first game. Um, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I, well, it ha I mean, there is some nods to other Resident Evil games in this, for sure. Did I beat him? Did I beat him? Yeah! Beat ya. Good work. Your reputation is well deserved. Get inside. The subway's about to leave. Carlos, Tyrell, you have your orders. You need to go back out into the city and find that man so far. This isn't the last man out of town, right? Do not worry. Once the civilians are safe, the train will be back. It's all right. You're going ahead. So Mikhail is a good guy, and he's not trying to deceive Jill or anything here, but he got intel that this guy, Nathaniel Bard, who again, new character, they made up, they added to him to this, so I don't mind that. I like that they added new characters. Um, see? Nikolai keeps saying that, and then in the end, that's exactly what happens. Jill, Jill just, and Carlos just leave together. And, uh, she, she leaves him for dead, Nikolai. So she doesn't, you know, <laughs> she doesn't really do anything heroic. She actually does exactly what the bad guy would have done. Um, but so this is where Nikolai finds out Bard's still alive. Because he's, he's fishing for information here. But Nikolai, start, he's, he's on to, Nik I mean, Mikhail's on to Nikolai. I like this scene. I think if that would have went on another second or two, I think Nikolai probably would have stabbed Mikhail right in the throat. But look, all those faceless civilians that were supposed to be survived, and and Jill's first reaction is, fuck this monster, blah, blah. It's like, what about all those people? 
Nikolai is very well done in this. I hate the shit out of him. Uh, and that's very well done. They made him a good bad guy. And that's a uh, Nick uh, Mikhail, same death. That's how he died in the original RE3. He uh, s puts a bomb. He straps a bomb to himself and blows himself up with uh, the Nemesis. So yeah, they kept a lot of the same things. So it's funny when I like, I'll make a comment like, oh, I, you know, why did they change how Brad got infected? People are like, well, you can't, you can't make it the same because otherwise it's the same game. It's like, look, there's a lot of things in this game that are the same. Um, but I also hate, like, we ran past the police department just a minute ago with Jill, like 10 minutes ago, and I hated that she didn't go inside. That would have been a cool thing where she was, like, if she would have told, like, Carlos and them, like, hey, take the train to the next stop, and I'll meet you there. It's on the other side of the RPD, and I'll meet you there. That's what, and then we could have had a level where you run through the RPD as Jill. I think that would have been cool. Not that I don't like playing as Carlos, but... He, his mission should have been elsewhere. They should have sent him to St. Michael Tower. Him and Terrell could have went to St. Michael Tower together and then investigated the um, the cemetery and, you know, other area outside of the the park. You know, they could have investigated those, those areas to find Dr. Bard. This is cool, though. This is a way to balance old and new. The first remake did that beautifully. Exactly. Yeah, the first remake did. And it's because they had a... I think they had, like, Shinji Mikami helped. You know, he was the guy who made the original, and I think he helped on some of the remake version. I don't know how much of a part he played in, in these remakes, because I know he does his own thing now with Evil Within, which are, are also great games. I like those games a lot. You can run downstairs and run over there and get like a crate and a couple other things, but uh, we're not going to do that because we're we're trying to beat this quickly. Where'd that cop go? Don't know, don't care. We got a job to do. Our intel still works. They have no guards in the stars. Find them and take them into custody. Us? I thought this was a rescue. Yeah, the uh, the remake of two and three. Now that I've played three, they're not very well balanced as far as like mixing old with new. They're not bad games though. I gotta say the RE engine is is a work of beauty. It's I love the RE engine. I love the the uh, capabilities they have with it. I love the gameplay. I, I it's it's awesome. Like I'm not. They did not make bad games. They just didn't make great games, in my opinion. Check this knife out, and yeah. It's a fire knife. And it's funny, they did that thing that a lot of movies and sequels do, where they're like, they have to show you where, how every little thing happened. Like, hey, look, this is how that guy ended up like that, and how the other guy ended up on the pipe, and which is fine. I, I'd rather that than, uh, than there be inconsistencies. But there are plenty of inconsistencies in this as well, unfortunately. Like, they have rooms that are boarded up that don't need to be boarded up. Because um, literally, Leon and Claire are going to be here and like, 14 hours. So I doubt too much has changed in 14 hours. Ooh, liquor. Right. 
That's when you know they're dead is when he speaks. So if Carlos doesn't say anything. So right here, there should have been a big crate there. And so you could jump out that window. Um, it doesn't make any sense that there's no chain on this door right now. It's like it's, So there's just all those little things like that. They're nitpicky things, I know. But, but we, uh, you know, I'm just saying, it's like if the goal is to just get on the other side of this door, you could have had that written somewhere else if you wanted to or you could just have it to where he can't mess with the locks you know There is an achievement in this game to like knock off like 28 hats of you know various police or or whoever. Um, I did that already last uh, last night. I think on one of my playthroughs. I, I I so some of these achievements I didn't even know they were achievements. I just kind of did them on accident. Um, I'll show you what the knife does. We'll, See. It lights dicks on fire. That's it. Uh, if, if a zombie, if you think it's still alive, you can hit it with the knife, and it'll just burn to death. I must wander off for a while. It was nice pestering y'all. I appreciate the patience. They say, "Hey, no problem. Thanks for uh, being here. Have a good day, lonely." Uh, thanks for coming in, and you're never pestering, but I know that's what you like to say. Boom. Oh. oh, he dead. Nine fifteen seven is the code for this. Hat came right off. So that would have counted towards the uh, towards the um, sorry, towards the uh, achievement. Mm. That's all that's in here. How are we doing on time? Fifty five minutes. It's not bad. Do you have any favorite zombie movies or shows? Um, yeah, I love the Dawn of the Dead, the original one. Um, that was my favorite. That's my favorite zombie movie. Uh, TV shows? Uh, I mean, I'm not a fan of Walking Dead. If the, if that's what you're asking, uh, I don't like that show at all. Um, But I like uh, Train to Busan. That's another recent zombie movie that I really like. And the sequel's coming out. It's called Peninsula. There's a trailer for it online if you want to check it out. Um, but it's it's Kore it's a Korean-made movie, but it's so good. I mean, and I only say that because I know not everybody likes reading subtitles, but I don't mind subtitles. Um, especially if the movie's good. But uh, yeah, Train to Busan, that's a good one. All right, so... This is cool that they put this creature in here because we saw hints of it, but now we actually get to fight an actual liquor, which is awesome. So this is cool that because remember when you get here when you're Chris and or Leon and Claire, the door is not unlocked. So I like that they, they made it to where you have, you're the one who unlocks it.
You get the fire knife, bro. There's three codes to put in. It's 104, 106, and then 109, I think, gives you a, uh, um, whatchamacallit, a grenade, something. Yeah, grenade. Cool. But we, the only essential thing you need is this battery. I mean, either I did it first, but stopped after the second season. I love Train to Busan. Yeah, that's a good one. I really like Train to Busan. Um, do I have one grenade or two? Okay, one grenade. is what's up, bro. Uh, have you seen Black Summer on Netflix? It's really good. I have not. What's the, is that a zombie thing? I have not seen. I never heard of Black Summer. That's a, uh, it's a cool title. can combine that. Or I can take that over now. And we can use it because we gotta take this. Oh I guess I could have combined it. Whatever. It's fine. Um yeah, but I, I love the Romero stuff. I'm a big fan of Romero zombie stuff. That's what I grew up with. Um, and I grew up outside of the areas he filmed a lot of his movies in. hoping I got all of them with that grenade. one-liners yeah it's a zombie show saw Stephen King recommend recommendation for it no long fraught discussions no endless flashbacks because there's no backstory no grouchy teens dialogue is sparse much shot with a single handheld camera very fluid showrunners could learn a lot from this if they could work that is uh yeah um well you know what that's one thing is I was saying the other day was people can really use this time to you know really pay attention to their craft and uh, and maybe apply some um, you could watch a lot of stuff and, and learn um, and I don't mean that, that to like put anybody down or anything but I just feel like there's a lot of things in the world where I feel like are very lazily done like writing um, you know sometimes filming uh, there's producing you know uh, all kind of stuff acting like I, I've seen a lot of forms of art kind of nurture lazier people and hoist them up i've seen it more and more and i'm just like i'm not a fan and so i yeah i kind of hope like all right you write comics great spend time read a bunch of stuff that's out there indie stuff mainstream stuff find things you really like and try and and really study it like i feel like it's someone who's like oh i i read you know watchmen or christ and infinite earths and i loved it it's like that's great but what did you learn from it as a writer what did you learn from it from a story telling uh, uh, standpoint don't be like tom king and be like oh you know what i learned nine panel grid and i'm going to tell my artist on mr miracle to draw the whole thing in nine panels uh lazy lazy no 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 no, no. don't do that don't that's the wrong thing to learn from reading a story I think there's less than 10 episodes. I don't remember. I recommend it. Okay, I'll check it out. Black Summer. For sure. 
So I'm, uh, yeah, like for me, for example, I'm a writer, and I'm, I'm, I'm not. I know I'm not a great one, uh, and I'm, you know, I don't know if I ever will be, but I'm trying, and uh, I think my plan, or my plan is, while we're on hiatus and I'm not working, I've been working on a book for a while, and every time I've reread pages and I sent stuff to editors, I would get a lot of feedback, like negative feedback, and I'm like, ah, oh, you're, you know, you're right. I could, I could do better here, and I felt like I was falling into that that lazy thing where it was like, oh, let's just get it done. Let's just do a draft and get it done. And that's, yeah, you, you do gotta at least get a draft done for sure. There's there's a, you know, benefit to that. But uh, then there's, there is a line there where you can be too lazy and, uh, and you, where, where you don't challenge yourself and you don't push yourself. And I'd rather keep pushing myself. All right, so we're at the one hour marker here. Let's go do this. So I'm trying to learn right now. I'm ingesting a lot of stuff. I have been for the past couple months ingesting stuff, really studying stories, good and bad stuff. I do like stuff I don't like. And, uh, and trying to find ways to apply it to improve my own art. All right, that's everything. I think we're doing okay on time. Like an hour, we're like an hour and three minutes, let's say, um, into this. I'm gonna say like when we get to the hospital maybe or after the next big boss fight, I'm gonna probably save there and then we'll um like right at the hospital maybe and then we'll we'll stop the stream and then we'll come back, you know, in the next like, you know, like we'll, we'll give me like five minutes to reset up and we'll come back and we'll play the rest of the game. But we'll do we'll do this as two different streams. So that way it's not like one big three hour thing on, on YouTube. Do you have a favorite author? I thought about pursuing writing just for fun, but I have nothing to write about. My favorite author is Agatha Christie. Uh, I love her stuff. I have her entire collection. Uh, every Hercule Poirot book she wrote, um, every uh, murder mystery she's written, uh, even some of the stuff that's not her typical style of writing. Like, I joined a book club of hers when I was like 14, and every month they sent me a different version, different book of hers in hardbound until they sent until like two two years oh, I was like maybe three or four years later I got the whole collection um, so yeah Agatha Christie comic book writers it fluctuates I, I'm a really big fan of Louise Simonson uh, I will always have a soft spot in my heart for her she she introduced me to Apocalypse which is one of my favorite comic book villains um I have Apocalypse tattooed on my arm, actually. Um, but she's awesome. She's a super, super awesome human being. I met her a couple times and uh, showed her my tattoo. She loved it. <laughs> she was blown away. She's like, oh, my God, that's one of my creations on your arm. I'm like, yeah. Well, I didn't, you know, I just put the words in Sabanor. Um, but she had come up with that. So she was tickled, tickled pink. Uh, because of that, which was awesome. It was nice to it was nice to meet her. All right, we're gonna give Jill the the butter knife. We can put that away because we do have a boss fight coming up. How many minutes? One. Okay, so we're at a 104. Oh, cool, Detective Writer. Uh, just looked her up. I've always wanted to get into comic books. I only like have two comics so far. Uh, Louise Simonson's good, uh, but she, I don't know. She she wrote Superman when I was a kid as well. Uh, she she started like when I first came across her was X Men. She's married to Walt Simonson, who's one of the best Thor artists in the world. <laughs> I love Walt Simonson. Um, so they're they're a power couple in comics.
boss battle. I think when I finished this boss battle, we were at like an hour and 15 minutes. So, uh, I don't know if we'll beat that. I don't know how long it'll take me to fight him. But yeah, Agatha Christie is a great detective author. So if you want to read some cool stuff, check hers out. She's done things like uh, Murder on the Orient Express, and Then There Were None is one of my favorite books of hers. It's a murder mystery where you will probably not guess, you'll probably not guess who the killer is. Uh, it's really well done. Same with uh, Murder on the Orient Express. Some of her twists are good. She was like the M. Night Shyamalan of, uh, of books back in the day, but only her twists were really good and inventive. Um, whereas Shyamalan got on a streak where he was kind of terrible for a while. Uh, I, I don't feel that way about Agatha Christie. What about you? Are you what about fam favorite writers of yours? Favorite artists? Anybody else in the chat want to jump in? You can too. Wait, what was the comic book author's name? Oh, Louise Simonson. L O U I S E. Louise Simonson. Uh, spelled just how it sounds. So she totally looks like Alice here. When people were saying she looked like Alice before, I, I didn't see it. And then I saw this scene where she's running, and there's a giant creature after her. I'm like, oh yeah, that's exactly like from the Resident Evil movies. Like, even her clothes and everything. Neil Gaiman? Oh, Neil's awesome. Neil's a great guy. I love his stuff. I do a Superman podcast on Patreon, and we talked about uh, Neil's... Oh. We talked about a lot of Neil's stuff on there. Supposed to dodge. So see that? That looks like a Las Plagas Parasite coming out of them. It looks a lot like a Las Plagas Parasite. So clearly they're just them setting that up more because it is supposed to be. I think in the lore it's it's like a, it's a parasite they found in Europe which would indicate that it could be Las Plagas or something at least like it. that, huh? Dead. With the handgun. as a controller. <laughs> I, for, I keep forgetting not to set it down. All right, I'm going to go. Uh, I need to catch up on Venom Vlogs. I'm still on season one. Hey, holy cow. Th well, Jesus, thanks for watching. Uh, I don't know how much uh, useful information you'll find now. I mean, we go through the comic books, so you probably like that stuff. But the movie news, like, you know, you probably know all about it by now. Um, but still, like, thanks for making the journey through that. I appreciate it. Enjoy, and if you ever have any questions, let me know, Tina. Have a good one. Hey, Pikachu. What's up, man? Good to see ya. I like these mine uh, rounds. These are cool. I didn't really like them in the original 
uh, too much, but these ones are... Bless you, Echo. These ones, I don't know, they're, they, they're easier to kind of navigate and... and uh, I mean, I guess the other ones weren't hard. Like, I, it, I didn't miss a lot with the old ones. I just, you know. All right, so an, an hour and eight minutes. That's how long it took us to get to the part where Jill gets infected. That's that's good. It's fast. Have you read Venom Island? You know what? I have um, the first four issues of it. I originally was not going to buy it until it came out in trade. So my issue, my thing now with Donnie and Ryan's run is that I haven't really been enjoying it, as you know. So when it comes out in trade, I'm going to wait for it to go on sale on Comixology, and then I'll buy it, and then I'll make videos where I discuss it. But at my going away party at Golden Apple Comics in L.A., before I left L.A., uh, someone gifted me issues part one through four of Venom Island. Um... So because they gifted it to me, I was like, okay, I, so I have read them. And I, do, I was planning at least to get issue 25, but I don't think it's coming out now uh, because of all that's going on in the world. So, uh, so I, I, it's going to be a while before I can discuss it, I guess. Dylan is fight, uh, piloting Venom as a T-Rex. Yeah, to save Carnage. carnage Ven yeah, I know. It's... it's uh, it's not good. I don't like. I I like Bagley's artwork, but I'm I'm not really enjoying Venom Island. Um, you know, Venom has eaten Carnage before. He's actually ingested Carnage before, and he did not have Carnage's voice in his head. Um, so again, like with Donny Cates, like I feel like a lot of his ideas are ideas that have been done. He's just like putting new twists on him, which is fine. That's totally cool with me like but i just haven't liked a lot of his new twists is all like carnage being inside venom's head and like i can manipulate you I can, it's like uh like uh i don't yeah that's not winning me over but um but i do like uh eddie is a symbiote magnet yeah i do like um the the t-rex thing was kind of fun even though obviously that's a nod to old man logan where there was a t-rex venom um and there's also a t-rex venom toy coming out too from lego for Lego collectors. Hi, Echo Butch. You know what? We might not cut. We're doing so good on time right now that I think we're going to just try. We're going to keep trying. Hopefully we can beat this game in two hours. All right, what can we put away? Nothing. Oh, well, you know what we should get, though? Let's get these, because these will make uh, going through some of the hunters way easier. Um, but yeah, to answer your question, I have read the first four uh, four parts. Of Venom Island. We're going to try to speed through this. The hospital does take a good amount of time to get through, but the lab at the end does not. The lab at the end I can get through in like a tw less than 20 minutes. Yeah, the only twist that hit me was Eddie's Nightmare when he was in the hospital. Uh, see, I wouldn't even call it a twist. Like, that's 
Uh, that's like, I don't know. I don't like that, actually, when that happens. Because <laughs> it's like, oh, so these four pages meant nothing, and your cliffhanger to your last ep issue meant nothing. So, yeah, I don't really like it really like that I think that's that's uh, that's he's he, Donny Cates a better writer than that um, in my opinion Echo. all right so this is the thing I had to learn to do quickly so you jump over here that way you can grab this no combine it with that so that's out of the way Jump over here. There's herb. You can grab it if you want. If not, it doesn't matter. The thing you need is the key. Agree on that part. Do you think a uh, null arc will be huge? Yeah, I mean, I think Donnie's... He's been building up for a reason. I bet you the next big arc where null hits Earth, I bet you it's going to be like... It'll either be a crossover between Venom and Carnage books, or v Venom and Thor books, um... So it'll either be that, um, or what, what can we put away? Let's go in here real quick. Um, so, or it'll be like a mini series, like Absolute Carnage was, and then on top of that mini series, they'll uh, they'll also. Can we just combine that and combine that? Um, so I think it's, you know, it could be like an absolute carnage miniseries, and then on top of that be, you know, something else, like a, a tie into Thor in, but I have a feeling that there's a reason why he's writing Thor, and it's going to be to have Thor issues that tie into what's going on in, in Venom. Uh, yeah, I'm going to need space. I'm going to need at least four spots. Where is his necro sword? Ah, yeah. I don't know. Uh, he'll. It's probably within. It's probably inside him or something crazy like that. He'll get it back. I'm sure. Um, I'm sure he'll get it back. But uh, yeah, and I think so. I think Thor's going to play a part in things coming up, which you know makes sense. I don't think I'm winning any prizes for guessing that. I'm back. Imagine all the heroes banding together to fight him. Oh yeah, that's definitely where it's gonna uh, it's gonna be something like that. Like they're, they're gonna make Null some big cosmic thing where the Avengers and the X Men and everybody have to team up to fight him. And Donny Cates is gonna be like, oh, I get to write the whole Marvel universe now. Like, aren't I the best writer in the world? Cool. Yeah, those things are gonna die much easier with the two. Uh, Battle coins. That's great. So this safe, I didn't know the code to the first time we played this. I do now. It's two digits. It's nine, three. That's it, just two digits. I thought Noel was dead. No, no, no. Noel is very much alive. He's, uh, at the end of the Absolute Carnage, he woke up. Um, so yeah, he's, no, he's alive now. Knew it, I knew it. I'm going to grab this and that hand grenade. Literally the only reason I came in here, so the hand grenade. I like the god character. He's probably my fourth favorite. Think about Null. I'm still waiting for them to do something cool with that character. 
Right now he just seems like a generic villain, but I'm, I'm hoping they'll do something cool with him. Okay. So here's what I did earlier. Got them both. Sweet. That doesn't always happen. Last time I, I think I only got one of them. And I was like, oh shoot, I gotta still kill the other one. I also read the Scream comics for Flash, former high school, and who's the current head of uh, Venom's offspring. I haven't read Scream, so I can't I can't answer that. I've read the first issue, but I haven't um, I haven't read anything else on it. So I'm sorry to say I won't be able to help out there. Uh, but you're talking about Andy, I'm guessing, right? The girl from his uh, that he used to teach. So definitely blind these guys, disorient them, and then boom, shoot them. Then jump over here. Go through this door. The the one thing I got it probably won't be too hard to do, but I definitely got to do it at some point. Is uh beat this game without uh without um using uh, going into like a a save you know or an uh, uh, inventory box. That's not super hard to do. I was able to do it in Resident Evil Seven, but uh, oh, come on, stop combining. But it's something I'm gonna have to get used to, get, like figure out at some point. Best thing to do is do it on easy mode, like we're playing this on. All right, so we got four spots. Good. Okay. I always try to keep four spots if I can, because we get a lot of a lot of stuff in here. These we can discard. We don't use handgun bullets anymore. Get that's the main thing you want. You want all those grenades. Now we can run back and get this. What's that? Get this health. Get this health. All I wanted to know was what the doctor was in your office in the first place. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm goddamn Nathaniel Bard. I'm goddamn Nathaniel Bard. Who do you think you're talking to? Yeah, the way he talks to that girl is despicable. Um, but the, he does kind of in his video, he's like, look, I'm not a good person. You know, I've done some crappy things. I'm hoping that this will redeem me by revealing that I have made a cure, a vaccine, and I want to I want to help people with it. Uh, and I'm sorry that, the, you know, like he, he doesn't say it in so many words, like, hey, this doesn't uh, undo the bad things I've done, but I'm hoping it'll just at least return some honor to my name. And I'm like, yeah, that's, that's a good... Final words. Hey, I love your content from your French fan. Hey, thanks, Florent. How's it going, man? How's it going? Thanks for being here. Noah was mentioned in the issue. Oh, and Scream? She's fighting what appears to be a red Grendel. Oh, okay. Mania is? Um, yeah, Grendel is like the, 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 you know, it's from the Beowulf lore. If you ever, if you've never read Beowulf, please do. It's, it's a cool, like, a story. Um, but the Grendel was like, like Null's knight that he sent to Earth, and Thor, I guess, defeated Grendel originally, and tr and locked trapped it in the ice or whatever. And then the government found it, and pulled some samples of it, and made you know the 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 agent Venoms or whatever they were called, um, you know, like Rex and all those guys in Vietnam. Um, and then when Null awoke in, in the first six issues of uh, Donny Cates' run. Uh, or he started, he didn't awaken yet. He started to awaken because the Grendel was set free. And once the Grendel was set free, it absorbed the Ezra, those five symbiotes that the government took and f became whole again. And once it became whole again, it was able to send a, a psychic signal to Null, which then caused it to awaken further and, and start leaving this whole mess that's going on. And then from there, Null was able to reach out to Cletus Cassidy and tap into him and all that stuff. Yeah, it's a lot to read. Have you read Silver Server Black? He was trapped in the past and fought against all. I did read that. I did a video on it. It's uh, that book. The artwork is great, but the story sucks. 
um, in my opinion. I'm like, I'm like, man, Donny Cates had a, a great opportunity here to make me like Null by giving him like a backstory and showing him as like, you know, as a powerful and cool villain. And uh, I didn't, I didn't feel like he did that at all. Dead. Uh, oh, I can't see. Hour nineteen minutes. So I think we're on par with where we were before. Like I, I don't think I'm saved any time at all. Um, because I think normally when I beat the hospital, it's like around with Carlos, it's like around an hour and thirty minutes. So looks like we're gonna do that again. And that's the other thing is this part coming up, it does take it does take a while. The issue showcase more of Null's power. I mean they do a little bit of that, but so what? Like characters are more than their powers. That's my least favorite thing about writers nowadays, is they're like, oh look at their powers, look at the, how powerful they are. Look at it's like, right, but can you write a character? Can you please write a character? Can they have like Null's goals are so simple. It's just like Oh, I just want, you know, everything to be under my control. I want everything, to, you know, to go back to being, you know, like I'm from the void. I'm from the darkness. Light came, which is totally a, a, a supernatural storyline that they did, where there was creatures that lived in space before the stars came and before the Big Bang, and that's kind of what Null is. And then all of a sudden, life was created, and now Null hates that life exists. But now he wants things to serve him. It's like I don't know. It's it's, it's terrible. I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of the character so far. And what the heroes are going to be facing once he arrives. Um, yeah, I know. I saw he had like some kind of knights or something, and obviously he has the Grendel. He's he's can control like mentally control all symbiotes, so he's going to be bringing an army of symbiotes. But it's like, didn't we just get venomized not too long ago, where where a race called the par uh, the parasites or whatever they were called, um, they brainwashed symbiotes <laughs> and then they brought them to Earth. Like I'm like. Man, literally, we just got that story. Like, like, just not too long ago, got that story. We got any more assault rifle? Do I need it? Yeah, we'll bring it. Why not? What is, uh... Our time, 120, okay. Um, Null sounds like a Dark Souls character. He looks like a Dark Souls character. Uh, he, he looks like a Castlevania meets a Dark Souls character. Like, he's like... The Poisons, that's what it is, Poisons. Yeah, like, wasn't there a, a group of Poisons? And they brain they brainwashed uh, Doctor Doom and Thanos and convinced them to come and attack the planet? Uh... So yeah, I'm like, that's it's just that's what it sounds like Null's gonna do. Alright, we'll keep that there for now. So I think because I shot him, yeah, he's dead. Nice analogy. Um, I, it's not a one-to-one -one reference, you know, like the poisons and, and what Donny Cates is doing, but it's similar. It's very similar. It's just another symbiote alien invasion attack. It's like, but this time there's a god, you know, who's in charge. It's like, whatever. I've right, got the detonator. So the main thing we're doing here is we're just trying to keep zombies from touching that door. Those zombies will get over there and they'll actually um they'll um push those barrels aside. Oh. 
Jean Grey destroying the Poison Queen. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, that was uh, what that was young Jean Grey when they did the Poison X crossover. Sweet, so far so good. Oh. Can't believe he was still alive. These zombies are weaker than normal zombies. They're meant to go down after like two or three shots or three or four shots. But since we have those coins again, those are helping us out. We're waiting for the trailer. Yeah, we talked about the trailer earlier. I, I got all triggered about it. Um, yeah, as long as you're waiting for it and you're being patient, you're good. Uh, you'll be fine. We'll, we'll, we'll get the trailer soon enough. For now, though, we got a lot of other Venom stuff. We got Max... I, I know maybe some people aren't excited. I keep mentioning it. Maximum Venom. It doesn't sound like too many people are excited, but I am excited for that show. Um, um, so that'll be showing up in like three, three weeks, less than three weeks. These shutters take forever. Oh shit. Please don't kill me. See? They move the boxes. I don't know if you get any points for... Um, for like preventing them from moving a single box or not, that'd be a cool achievement. Alright, so we just gotta survive for like 30 seconds, it's not a big deal. Speaking of Resident Evil, Nintendo has a spirit, uh, spirits in Super Smash Brothers. Oh, does it? That's that's cool. Have you heard Cap? Patient. What's up, Georgia? How's it going? Me too. But lives matter. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we uh, we do. We are we are learning patience here. That's for sure. Um, as a kid, I always wanted a Spider-Man cartoon season with Venom as a main villain, and uh, there is with Maximum Venom now. There you go. I'm excited for it. Uh, and the fact that it's like six one-hour movies is even cooler. Uh, hopefully a DLC or possible next game will finally add the characters in the roster. That'd be cool. Nintendo and Capcom used to be really good friends when the GameCube came out. All the Resident Evil games were exclusive to it for, for like two years. <laughs> But they arguably released two of the best Resident Evil games for the GameCube. 
exclusively. It was Resident Evil 1 Remake and Resident Evil 4. Those were only available on the GameCube at first. All right, so now she's awake. Sucking on that drain, demo D. Triple D down the throat. Resident Evil 3 is a good Resident Evil 2 remake, I think. <laughs> yeah, I, so I, I don't dislike this game. I gotta say, it's fun to play like Resident Evil 2 remake is because what they got right is the gameplay. Uh, the, the, you know, you can change the difficulty that adds some challenge and makes it fun. They add the infinite ammo or coins to you know, improve your gameplay change cause you to change strategies so the gameplay itself and the look of the games are amazing Resident Evil 2 and 3 remake amazing I have no complaints there zero complaints but story and uh, and just representation of some of the characters like yeah I saw all these people saying like this is my favorite version of Jill I'm like so your favorite version of Jill is someone who is not heroic because she's she fails too much in this one but, but at the same time being superhuman so it's like yeah I, I can't get I don't know I don't know if I like this Jill the actress is fine it's not there's nothing against that but um all right so let's see we got to put we put those away for now those away those away those away We haven't saved yet, have we? We don't need that. We'll go ahead and save. Wow. All right, we're doing pretty good on time. Um, perhaps the art animation might be better than what we usually get in the Marvel Spider-Man show. Yeah, I, I know that they made some changes to the visuals. I hope we... So when people talk about trailers, I'll tell you the one... I'm, so I'm patient for the Venom movie trailer. I can be patient with that one. But for the maximum Venom trailer, I'm getting... I'm starting to get like everybody else. I'm starting to get impatient. I haven't written anybody. I haven't reached out to anyone who works on the show or anything and, and like said, where's our trailer? I haven't done anything like that because I'm not an a-hole. Uh, but still, I, uh, it's hard. It's hard. <laughs> it's definitely hard. Um, all right, so the main thing here is you have to decide if you want to run back into the hospital or if you don't. If you don't run back into the hospital and you just go through this door, you can save yourself like 10 minutes. If you go back to the hospital, you can at least run upstairs, go crawl, and then get the Magnum if you want the Magnum. I would say that's worth spending the three minutes to do that. Um, but only if you're playing on like hardcore mode. If you're on standard mode or assisted mode, you do not need the Magnum to finish this game. Because uh, you're going to have, I mean, I already have a ton of ammo and, and weapons and stuff. And plus in the final battle on assisted mode, you pretty much just need a handgun with infinite ammo and some, some health. And then the railgun, which you get, you know, they, they give you the railgun. Um, and it doesn't take up any inventory sl spots. So I'm just going to skip the hospital, and we're going to try to beat this game in less than two hours. If we do, that's a that's a major achievement in the game. Like, I think that's a... You get, like, a, a trophy for that or something. So, yeah, press that handle. That gives you enough time to run over there and get the herb, so that way no time's being wasted. And then take this elevator up. Fingers crossed. Yet, it's best to have a decent amount of expectation regarding a kid's show, especially today. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, it's true. Um, I mean, I just hope it's just, you know, like, I, I tell a lot of people they're very critical of the previous seasons of the show. And just like, uh, I, I'm just now watching. I, I watched the first season. It was fine. I didn't hate it. I, see, I, I can see why people maybe are super critical of it, but um, I, didn't, I, I didn't dislike it, though.
we'll save those for later. Let's get the um, we'll do that. So this part is can be tricky. You have to, so one of the achievements is running through this room in five minutes. So let's grab that, jump down here. I'm gonna press this elevator. From the second that shuts off, now we have we have five minutes to go get all the fuses. Okay, good, he's dead. If you can kill that thing, do it, but do it quickly. Have you read Carnage USA? I love the artwork. It looks expensive and awesome. Yeah, Clayton Crane. It's awesome. Yeah, oh yeah. We've, we've talked about all that on my show. Uh, we've, we've gone over all the Carnage USA stuff. Oh if, if, oh, if Clayton Crane had drawn Absolute Carnage, I probably would have liked it more. Dispatch those as quickly as you can. We don't need assault ammo. Go through here. Nothing against Ryan Stegman. I like Ryan Stegman's artwork. We're gonna, so if, for those who don't know, I do a Patreon Superman podcast that you can, for $3 a month, you can get four episodes. Oh shit, that, that's not what I was supposed to do. Don't do that, don't do what I just did. That bot. That wastes like 30 seconds. That wastes too much time. You just run up the stairs next to it. Only do this if you want to get... There's some extra items back there, but we don't, we don't need any of that. So yeah, you don't want to waste any time here. Um, yeah, Clayton's still working on stuff. He does variant covers sometimes. Um... And he's done, like, Transformer stuff. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, Clayton's awesome. Very talented person. And I love Ryan Segman. Like I said, don't get me wrong. This, this is not a slight against Ryan Segman. We're going to... So I do the Superman podcast um, on Patreon. $3 a month to get four episodes. Uh, I am behind. I, I still owe one more for the month of uh, March. One more episode. And I'll get that up hopefully this weekend. And then I'm already recording the next one. I already started recording the next one too. So that I have the first one for April ready to go soon too. Oh good, that killed him. Okay. Having those two coins helps out when fighting enemies. It helps out a lot. All right, so then you run back here. Go through this door. He's down. Go out this door. Reload if you can. Get ready for this guy. Grab that. All right. I think we definitely did it in less than three minutes or five minutes. Probably did the cover issue with the uh, submit characters. Yeah, he's done that kind of stuff before. Justice League action is underrated and fun. Oh, I love Justice League action. That's what a great show. All right, so now we're going to try to run down here and throw them into the fuse box as fast as we can. So I think we did it. Um, I think we're fine. I mean, I already got the achievement, but I'm just saying, like, if you do exactly what I just did now, you'll be fine. Sorry, I thought I pressed the button already. Otherwise, I wouldn't have. Uh, I know I wouldn't have shot. So behind behind this computer, there's a, a, a crate, but you don't need to get it if you didn't get the magnum, because all it is is an ex extension for the magnum. And now we no longer need uh, the um, the lock pick. We don't need it anymore, because everything down here doesn't uh, require a lock pick. It looks like his work. Uh, 
If only all the pages were like that. Yeah. So a cover art of Miles being restrained by his carnageized self. That's cool. Uh, yeah. So I think what they're doing is Miles is coming up on a clone saga. So, okay. So that brings me back. Let me finish my point. So I do Superman podcasts, four episodes, $3 a month on Patreon. But I'm going to be adding uh, another podcast to Patreon. Uh, so for $5 a month, you get the four Superman episodes. And then you'll get two episodes based on the Clone Saga, the Spider-Man Clone Saga. So I'm going to re... I have the entire Clone Saga, the original and the, the new one, and uh, I'm going to reread them. And the reason I mention that because of Ryan Stegman is because Ryan Stegman drew a Scarlet Spider series uh, a couple years ago that I love that ties into Agent Venom. And we're going to be talking about it a little bit coming up on the Venom blog. But uh, I wanted to do a show about that, about the, the Clone Saga. Because I think that's a, that's a an interesting topic to do deep dives into. So yeah, so coming up, I'll have a new option starting May 1st on Patreon. If you spend $5 a month, you get the four Superman podcasts and two Clone Saga podcasts. Two ways to survive the pandemic, the soap that throw the lethal toilet paper at a demon. I mean, that's how I'm going to do it. If I see a demon, I throw my toilet paper right out. I light it on fire and I throw it. How did they not hear you? Hear, do, 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 do. And like Jill turns around, like, what? What? Terrell? Have you read the issue showing the maker talking to the counselor of Reed Riches? Oh, yeah, for sure. And I also, um, I, that's my favorite thing that Donnie Cates put inside his Venom run is the maker. Um, also, pick up the newest issue of Ghost Spider. Uh, that's the Spider Gwen comic book. Issue number eight came out last week, and she's, she's turning into Gwenum again. And the maker is there observing it because obviously he has a, a, a special interest in symbiotes. And I believe he has the symbiote from the Ultimate Universe. And I have a feeling we're going to see Ultimate version of Eddie Brock at some point uh, because I heard Donny Cates wants to bring back the Ultimate Universe. Um, so I'm sure we're going to see stuff like that. All right, so what are we at time wise? 134. This is great. Last time I was here, it was like 150, an hour and 50 minutes, and um, and it was a struggle. It was a struggle. So come over here and grab this. He had Ultimate Venom. That's right. Yeah, he does. He has Ultimate Venom symbiote, which is cool because it's not. It, it should be impervious to Null because it's not. A, it's not an alien. It was built in a lab, so that's kind of cool. Um, that's a good idea, actually. I will give Donny Cage credit when I, you know, to be fair to him. But I think that's a good idea, bringing in the Ultimate Venom symbiote. But I also wonder why he's not using the anti-venom stuff from, uh, from, from Alchemex. Instant kills, good. Because these guys suck. New Moon spoilers, Demon Bear is not the only villain in the movie. They also fight the SJW New Warriors. <laughs> I've seen uh, New Mutants like two years ago. I'm not allowed to talk about it beyond that, I think. Uh, but I saw a very early cut of that movie. Um, way back before it was, when it was supposed to come out, the first, it was like four months away from coming out the first time. And, and we saw, I saw a screening of it. Ultimate Venom versus main series Venom. Imagine. I mean, it, that'd be cool. It depends on who they give the Ultimate Venom symbiote to, though. Because um, that's such a 
a cool concept, the fact that it's man-made. Uh, that could be really neat. Can I mix that with anything? I didn't take that bit of there. Uh, he said it would be bloody to get the codex to help repair the ultimate suit. Interesting. Well, for real, dang, I guess I should time travel to see that now. What do you think will have it? Um, what do I think will have what? Oh, the... What are you talking about? Are you talking about the new warriors? Or new mutants? Sorry, I'm getting lost in the conversations because I'm, I'm trying to keep an eye on the time, you know, for uh, beating this, and then also like talk to you guys. The ultimate suit. Oh, uh, I don't know. Who do who do I think they should give it to? You mean to wear? That's a good question. I have no idea. I'd, uh, I just saying whoever they pick. I hope it's cool. Um, I don't need that. Yeah, um, I don't know. Who would you like to see wear it? Uh, I would like, I mean, I don't know. You could give it to, uh, they should give it to, like, one of the clones. Like, I, I don't know. I, that's, I felt a little ripped off when I was reading Absolute Carnage, and there was no Ben Riley in there, because Ben Riley became Spider Carnage at one point, and I was kind of hoping to see them do something with that. So in normal mode, three hunters come out. Thankfully, in this mode, only two. Hopefully not Dylan. Uh, Dylan, my thing with Dylan is that he's just a... He's a, uh, a plot device. Like, he, it's just getting to the... It's getting annoying, like, where it's just like, hey, we have a problem, and, and you know, and Donnie Kate's like, I don't know how to write myself out of this corner. Oh, we'll just have Dylan do it. Uh, D well, that's not a power he used to... Ah, it's okay, we'll just give him a new power. We'll just we'll just keep reestablishing Dylan. He'll be the key to everything, and it's like, uh, yeah, it's I don't I'm not a big fan. The concept of Eddie having a son is a great concept, but whatever they're doing with Dylan right now is is lame as all hell. In my opinion, in my opinion, obviously if someone likes it, I'm not gonna shit on them for that. And pardon me, I did I did just burp and I apologize. It's very rude. Okay. So, oh, God, I hate when it does that. I'm clearly in, not in front of the typewriter. Um, I think we got enough weapons here. I'm going to bring the mine rounds just in case, though. Uh, you know what? Just in case we don't... Uh, we don't beat this in time. At least I know I have a, a save spot where I can come back and try to... i got 20 minutes to beat it. I agree with that opinion. Deus Machina. Yeah, Deus Machina. That's exactly what it is. Um, but not in a clever way. He's becoming a generic plot device, in my opinion. That's, yeah. That's exactly it. He started out as a great idea. And then now he's just... It, that's what happened with... Uh, I love Jeff Johns, but that kind of happened in um, his Green Lantern run, too. There'd be a moment where it's like, oh, we, we can't beat this. And then Mogo would show up and then save everybody. And you're like, oh, okay. And so it's just like, after, after like the third, the second or third time that happened with Mogo, I was kind of like, eh, Okay. Hey, what's up, Swordsman? Unfortunately, for some reason, I'm having problems with the stream showing on my end, and our Facebook page hasn't worked so far. Can you guys see okay? Are you guys seeing and hearing me okay? Um, you guys let me know in the chat.
I imagine Peter Parker, Spider-Man bonding with the Ultimate Venom suit. That'd be cool too. Is everybody seeing and hearing me okay? Is it just Swordsman who's having the issues? Oh wow, that knife is... Oh god, that's going to make me vomit. I'm going to... Don't look at the screen, seek. This part's easy, just hold up on the, the joystick. Uh, it's just my crappy internet. Okay, gotcha. Or Miles Morales, and he also came from the Ultimate Universe. I mean, that's the thing is, yeah, you could give it to Miles. He is from the Ultimate Universe, you're right about that. They're doing a clone saga with Miles coming up. I don't know why. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, you know, Jackal's dead, and Ben Riley was proven to be the last Jackal, so I don't get it myself. Um, I don't know why they would do that. Let's see. Let's get rid of... Oh, we can discard that. I forgot. Do we have regular gunpowder? We should. Oh no, come on. Okay. Okay. I think we're good. I think we can make this work. All right, so we'll... Oh, we already saved it, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We got 18 minutes to beat the game. Okay. Hopefully this, this won't take too long. Have you read Sleeper? The last... Yeah, of course. Are you new to my channel? <laughs> Pikachu? Um... I mean, you, I know, I, I understand. You probably haven't looked through my videos and stuff, but uh, yes, we've gone over all that stuff. I think first host was coming out right when we started our channel, um, so or right when we started the Venom vlog. So we covered all that pretty early on in the show. Uh, that made more sense to me as it would... Um, be a sweet irony. <laughs> gotcha. No, you see, you know, you, I thought you'd been here for a while, but yeah, I mean, we we covered that. We've covered sleeper and all that stuff. Yeah, no, no, no. That's okay. I, that's what I figured, and I don't expect people to watch all my stuff. Uh, so yeah, so just just to inform you, like yes, I have read sleeper, and we've covered that on the sh on the show. We've covered first host and uh, some of the Costa run. I think we started around Nativity was coming out when we started the show. So we started from Nativity onward. So there's still Mike Costa stuff I got to go over, but we're kind of going in order right now. We're doing the Agent Venom stuff. So we went back in time and we're kind of covering Agent Venom right now. Wow. He's down already? Uh, sorry, it seems my connection isn't going to work on my end. I'll catch you later. Hopefully uh, RE3 is lots of fun for you. Hey, thanks, man. We'll catch you later. Sorry about that. I love this.
Oh, he's already in that phase? Shoot. We done? We are done. Wow, that was fast. If <laughs> oh yeah, uh, I feel that's been sidelined in favor of Dylan's disc. Yeah, for sure, probably. This is a speed run, not a speed run, because if it was, I'd be skipping all the cutscenes, and I I I would probably be more focused. I probably wouldn't do a chat at the same time. Um, but we are trying to beat it in less than two hours because that's an achievement. So maybe it's an, a trophy run or an achievement run. Um, so we're trying to beat it in less than two hours. And we might do it. Depends on how long this, this final area takes. Because, yeah, I mean, we went through the lab there in like 12 to 15 minutes. I mean, it was that was pretty fast. Yeah, normally I'd skip all the cutscenes, um, because then it'd be two hours in, like, real time almost, uh, but with all the cutscenes, like, they don't count the time the cutscenes take to, to go through, so. Um, oh yeah. Gunpowder there. File there. Do I need any of this? I'll grab the Hesper, I guess. Boy, how much time do I have? 15 minutes? Um, let's do the mine rounds. Cool. I'm not even going to save. I was like, yeah, let's save it. It's the final boss, but it's fine. I can't tell if his audio is low or if it's just he's only coming through mostly on my deaf ear, on my headphones, because I can bear, I, I hardly ever hear what he's saying. Uh, so I don't know if that's an audio issue or if it's just my ear. <laughs> Could be my ear. Like he, he's probably coming through both headphones, but probably most of his sound might be coming through the left one and Jill's is coming through the right. Maybe that's why I can't hear him. I also see Scorn as a Deus Mexico, so Dylan ain't my first radio. Oh yeah, I know. I mean, Deus Machina are, are they happen in, in storytelling a lot. Sometimes they're unavoidable, and you try to do your best to not make him seem that way, and I'm sure Donnie's trying his best to make Dylan feel like a character, but he doesn't really come across as one a lot of times to me. He seems, he seems like he's just there to be angry at Eddie, and then when they finally bond... It's like, oh, are they going to write them in a loving way now? And it's like, no. Then now the next issue, he's angry again at him. So it's just like, all right. So he's not even consistently written. There's no growth with the character. It's just I'm like, okay, whatever. So first thing you do is come back here, unlock that, and then grab it before that big arm hits you. <laughs> Look at this. Aim for the chest section. I miss Toxin. He'll probably be back at some point. This alien ripoff, it's like, it's so funny because like that's what Paul Anderson does when he makes the Resident Evil movies. He keeps ripping off Alien and Aliens. And now it's so funny to see the games are just doing that. And I'm like, ugh. So definitely want to destroy those. So that's going to knock them down. I think on easy mode you should have enough time to do two of these. Hopefully. We're going to try for it. We're going to go for it anyway. I love these angles. It's pretty sweet. This final boss is actually kind of cool. It looks, it looks cool.
So look for his pimples when they come out. He's going to try to cover them. Be careful. I think two hits can kill you here. I don't I don't think it matters what mode. Okay, got them all. So when he gets up oh shit. When he gets up the second time, I think he gets up faster. So haul ass to this thing. So now, just grab the gun again. Cool. Character growth should be viewed as a second priority after good storytelling, unless that is a storytelling itself. I disagree, because good storytelling comes from character growth sometimes. Um, so no, it's, it's not a second priority. Now, here's the thing. In comic books, maybe a little bit. I see where you're coming from, because comic books are kind of a soap opera, and... You can't have a ton of growth, especially too quickly, because otherwise, you know, there's not a lot of room for you to go, and you want to bring this. You want them to have a full arc by the end, so that way, when a new writer comes in, obviously the status quo is going to go back to the beginning again. Um, so I, 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 I see what you mean by that for sure, and I half agree, but uh, but I, I think a, a component of good storytelling is character growth. Like, for example, there is zero growth for Jill in this game. Zero, as far as I can tell. She does not end any different than where she was in the beginning. Um, at the beginning of this game, she had no love for Umbrella, and she wanted to take him down. At the end of this game, she has no love for Umbrella and wants to take him down. And on the downside is every mission she had, whether it was like to save other people or get a vaccine out or do any of these things, prevent a nuclear strike, she fails at all of them. <laughs> like she literally accomplishes nothing except getting out of the city, which at the beginning of the game she says, in three days I plan to be out of the city. And then boom, here we are three days later and she's exiting the city. So, so she literally just does the thing. That's the only thing she does, but there's no arc there. She just does the things she said she was going to do in the beginning. So, but, 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 uh, so she didn't change along the way. Uh, I mean, Toxin is one of those thousand of offsprings of Venom's lineage, lineage uh, for crying out loud. Uh, yeah, I, so, so yeah, I hear what you mean. With, with Toxin, like, he's the one thousandth of whatever symbiote in that bloodline. Um, yeah, I don't know. I thought that was a dumb thing. I thought, I thought, I know some people like Toxin, but I did. I didn't like that storyline. Carnage vs. Venom is okay. Has some good moments. The Toxin miniseries is is terrible. Um, and so for that reason, I never really became a fan of Toxin. But I heard there's some cool Toxin stuff in the Agent Venom story that I haven't read yet that we're going to get to soon. So maybe that'll change my mind about the character. All right. This is the end of the game, and I don't think you can actually mess this up, because I've I've uh, fired in like multiple different directions, and it always this is the same outcome every time. So, and here we are at the end of the game. I think we did it. I think we might have done it in less than two hours. Hopefully, a toxin appears in Venom too. Well, it seems like a. Patrick Mulligan, the character, uh, is in it, which I think is so generic that the, the writer of, the guy who created Toxin, his name is Peter Milligan, and he created a character named Patrick Mulligan. Like, talk, like, talk about writing yourself into a character. It's, like, it's ridiculous. That's like it's like hey seek you get to write a Venom comic book I'm like I do and they're like yeah which character 
like, which characters do you want to put in? And I'm like, I want to make up a new character. And he's going to have the same initials as me. His name is going to be Scott Donahue. It's, it's pure ego and stupidity. Bad writing. Sucks that Morbius will be delayed, though, as the film was apparently an Easter egg for Venom. Yeah, I heard there's some things that tie in to Venom that are in Morbius. So now the question is, now that that's got pushed back, can Venom 2 still come out and those Easter eggs in Morbius still work? Because, you know, sometimes they want things like, oh, they look, maybe they want the stuff that happens in Morbius. Maybe they want the audience to see that before they see Venom. And if that's the case, like if it doesn't matter which order the movies come out in, then Venom 2 will probably be fine. But if Sony decides, hey, you know what, we want people to see Morbius um, before they see Venom 2, then that could affect Venom 2 stuff. I think it'd be smart to have Morbius stay after Venom 2, or you know, stay where it is now after Venom 2, because maybe they can put a teaser in Venom 2 for Morbius. That might get more people to go see Morbius. Um, so, uh, yeah, because obviously I think Venom 2 is going to do fairly well at the box office, depending. I mean, who knows? Like, if it comes out on its original day and the, and the world is... Because I think a lot of people... Like, I don't like going to the movies. I think a lot of people are going to realize that they do not need to go out to go to the movies. I think they're going to realize, like, sitting at home and watching it on a decent-sized screen TV and, you know, being able to pause it whenever they want and all that, I think people are going to... I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how people react to if they go, if they rush back to the movie theaters after all this. Should MCU and Sunnyverse have a crossover with Spider-Man and Venom? I mean, I don't know if it should or not, but it's gonna probably. All right, let's skip this. And so here's a little Easter egg scene. There's the broken vial, and then Jill's picking it up. Um, I think it's Jill. Looks like Jill. She's got those mom jeans on that she's been wearing through most of the game. She's got a different color top. Oh, look at that. One hour and 48 minutes. Two saves, no deaths. We did it. Let's go see how many points that gave us. Sprinter and thinning the horde. So we killed a lot of enemies in that one too. Bonus records. Sprinter, complete the game in under two hours. They gave us 7,000 points. That's good. And what was the other one? Thinning the Horde. We killed 1,100 enemies. Dang, we're close to 1,400. So probably one more playthrough and we'll get that, the, that one, the zombie exterminator one. And that gives us 10,000 points. Uh, let's go to the shop. We got 18,000 points. Not enough for the assault rifle. But I am curious about this thing. I kind of don't want to play, I'll play hardcore with what we have, but I kind of don't want to play anything harder than hardcore until we get the rocket launcher. <laughs> I don't know if we'll be able to because I've been spending all the points. But All right, so we got the Raiden. I'm curious to see what that weapon does. Um, we got 6,600 points left. So we can get the field combat manual. That makes dodging easier, but you got to carry the damn book with you. These, I don't I don't care about getting these. Like, it, they don't seem worth it. I don't mind spending a few extra seconds to go in the game and go do all this. Like, this is just like, hey, you can lockpick from the start of the game. And I'm like, eh, I don't, it doesn't, I don't care. We can get the Samurai Edge, but it doesn't have infinite ammo. Um, recovery coin, I don't need that. Jill's costume. I don't need that. Yeah, we got the so we got the achievement. We sure did. Mission accomplished. But now I have I have enough to do one more. Um, I'm thinking. I don't know if I'm, I. I kind of want that a little bit, so we can do a perfect dodge. But at the same time, I feel like I could get. I could get the recovery coin. And the Jill costume. Let's at least do the Jill costume. 
Um, you know what? We could get both of those, actually. That and that. Because that would be 40. No, that we couldn't. We could only get one of them. So, yeah, I don't really care. Let's get the recovery coin. Because now that we don't have to beat it fast, I mean, we just got the record. The, the hardest is beating it in under two hours. So... We unlocked uh, some concept art, some models probably, look at that, Nemesis Stage 1, aka Doomsday Phase 1, whoa, ah, oh, that's cool, get a better look at all three of his versions, that is cool, he does look good, I thought they did a good job on the design. Um, congratulations. Hey, thank you, man. Uh, have you read the panel where the century ripped Carnage in half and threw it in outer space? I have. We, we covered that on the show, too. Definitely, uh, have read that one. Yep. Um, yeah, that was a cool moment when the century ripped him in half. I thought when that happened, though, I got pissed off. When that came out, I was like, did Ben, because Bendis is notorious. He says he hates symbiotes. That's why when he did the ultimate version, he create, he was like, oh, the symbiote is not going to be an alien. It's going to be a man-made thing. He hated symbiotes, and he never wanted to write them. And after he did Ultimate Venom, Marvel kind of forced him to. And so he's like, fine, I'll do it. And that's why that story just kind of ended with like a, you know. That's when I started to dislike Bendis. I was like, all right, I like his Daredevil stuff. I like his Jessica Jones stuff. I like his Ultimate Spider-Man stuff. And then once he started writing Venom, and then I heard him in interviews saying how he hates symbiotes, I'm like, Okay, dude, he's like one of those guys. I hate hearing that. Like, Dan DiDio was like that. Like, Dan DiDio at DC hated Nightwing for some reason, and he hated different certain characters. And I'm like, why do you have, like, why? Like, what's the point? You know, like, I don't get it. It's like, uh, like, okay, I'm not a big fan of Magpie, but if someone said, hey, I have a Magpie story, and I was like Dan DiDio, I'd be like, all right, go ahead, tell a Magpie story. I wouldn't intervene and say, no, you got to have Magpie have her memory erased and she's going to go by Rick Grayson from now on or she's going to go by Hagpie from now on. Like, I wouldn't do that. And so Bendis, you know, he was notorious for hating symbiotes. So when he had Sentry, you know, he's like, I'm going to make Sentry a cool character. He never did that, by the way. Sentry always sucked uh, when Bendis wrote him. And uh, and uh, he only did like one or two interesting things with him and that was it. Uh, he had him rip uh, Carnage in half and I was just like, lame. And at, at, the, at that time, they were like, Carnage is dead. And thank God Zeb Wells and all those other people came up with the other Carnage stories like Carnage USA and Family Feud and stuff and brought Carnage back because, yeah, I was like, screw this. If you hate the characters, don't write them common sense. That's exactly it. Or stay away from them. Like, if you don't like the characters, just let them be. It doesn't matter. They're just the fake characters anyway. <laughs> They'll be fine without you. Um, okay, so we're, we're done. Next time we come in, we'll, we'll, I'll probably play a hardcore offline, though. Um, I do not like this classic hair, Carlos. I am probably never going to play the game with that version. That is, that is awful looking. Uh, yeah, no. But we, we might play a version of this later. But anyway, so that's it, man. Like, well, yeah, we streamed for, what, like three and a half hours, three hours, something like that. Um, you saw now the whole game in completion. I beat it in, in an hour and 48 minutes. But with all the cutscenes, probably came closer to three hours. So... I appreciate everyone that was here that listened to me rant that, you know, you know, heard me be triggered in the beginning over the, you know, the Venom trailer stuff. So, yeah, I'm sorry. It's just a hot button with me sometimes. Um, I, I am have been moody lately. It's hard after this last procedure to kind of compose myself. A lot of you, some actually, someone actually wrote me a message and said, hey, I'm worried about you. I've noticed you've been getting more irritated lately. And it's, it's not really other people's faults. I know sometimes I... I complain about certain things or whine about certain things, but it's not anyone's fault, really. It's just me just not being able to be patient and deal with things. I knew this was going to come. Like, as the channel grew, I knew I was going to get, you know, more and more questions of things and get re repeat questions. I see it happen every other YouTube channel, so so I knew it was coming for this one. But I, I got to just get better at answering. It's, it's a growth thing. I'm working on it, and uh, I'll get better at uh, answering people when they ask me the same questions over and over and over. Um... So just be patient with me. Imagine Grendel Carnage wanting to destroy Sentry in the comic real-life version of the writer who made him ripped in half his fourth wall gag. Uh, yeah, sure. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, it would be funny, I guess, but uh, 
I mean, I don't want stuff like that in my in my comics, typically. Um, anyway, so thank you, Pikachu, and everyone else who came in here. Uh, Florent, my friend in France, hello. Uh, thank you guys for being here. Lonely, everyone. Swordsman, I know you had problems watching this. Hopefully you can watch it later on. Um, and then everyone else who came in here, too, I, I appreciate you. Uh, Freezy, uh, Freezy Beach, you know, uh, and Georgie. Uh, sorry, Freezy Beach, for, you know, for, uh, you know, talking about getting you know, upset over the trailer stuff, you know, like I said, uh, be, bear with me. I'll get, I'll get better with that stuff. So, um, but thank you all for being here. I'll have more Venom vlog stuff next week. And, uh, and I'm just going to take the weekend off, focus on podcasts for Patreon. And I'll start working on my Spider-Man clone saga podcast pretty soon too. And those will start going up in May on Patreon. And I might have it. If you want to just get the, the, the Scarlet Spider Patreons, I may come up with a tier where you can get just those two for $3 a month. But I don't know if people are going to like that deal because it's $3 a month and you're only going to get two podcasts because right now you get four podcasts of Superman for $3 a month. So I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I can't do more than two a month right now I just because I want to make sure I can keep up with everything. So, um, so yeah. So I'll have all that and more information on that soon. Uh, you guys have a great day too. Thanks for being here. I will see you all in the future. If you like this uh, you know, playthrough and you want to see more, let me know. I'll do edited versions and I'll post them on my gaming channel. And uh, I don't typically do a lot of gaming stuff on this channel. So this is just like a one-time thing so we could just talk and, and hang out. And I'm glad you guys were here for that. So thank you again. See ya. Peace.